My name is Alex Benigno, and I use magnets to pick up nails and screws so our tires won't have to. The nails and screws, that's, that's my goal. Everything that will pop a tire. Lui, c'est Atlanta Magnetman, autrement dit l'homme aimant d'Atlanta. C'est le surnom qu'Alex Benigno s'est choisi quand il en a eu marre des crevaisons à répétition. Depuis, il mène une chasse aux objets métalliques, son arme, une petite remorque truffée d'aimants qu'il a lui-même équipée. Okay. Every Monday, uh, we join up at Thinking Man Tavern and have a group ride. What are you doing with the group ride? I take my magnet trailer with me. Yeah. Everybody knows your name. <laughs> no, I think we've all been in love with this, having. Uh, I can't think of how many tires I've had to repair along these bike rides because there was so much crap in the bike lanes. I never know what I'm gonna gonna, gonna find. They, they find pretty creative ones every now and then. I think we got one. For a while I was averaging about, about six pounds every 10 miles, but it really depends on where I go and what I pick up. Sometimes I pick up so much it starts dragging on the ground and I have to pull everything off and put it back into the bin. No, there's not really anything of value. Um, my favorite thing that I found was a very small dream catcher that someone made out of steel wire. I found two more. Um, it's it, at the driveway in front of the waterworks. <laughs> they were all beat up. They looked like they'd been run over, uh, you know, hundreds of times. And, but there were just two of them sitting in the ground. And so I picked them up. Les kilos de métal récupérés finissent chez le ferrailleur ou chez une ferrailleuse et artiste qui en utilise pour ses sculptures. This is a really clean area. I've been here before. So that's why it's clean? Probably. <laughs> no, this is the part of Atlanta, I think, where they actually do take care of the roads better. We just did nine and a half miles for an hour uh, around Decatur, Atlanta. And we did lots of, uh, lots of residential uh, and some parks. So I don't think it's going to be a lot. This was completely empty when I started. Yeah. Lots of nails. And a saw blade. Ooh. We didn't do a lot of main roads. That's where I find most of the stuff. Right next Monday, do another ride. We'll do some other different route and pick up a little more next time. I was considering uh, doing a Patreon for this project because I would love to do this all day long, every day. I'm not a greedy person, but I need to, f you know, I still need to find a way to get paid so that I can live. My biggest goal would be to get um, funding out there for anybody else that wants to do this project as well. And people who maybe they want to make their own bike trailers, but also I need to find a way to incentivize it so that um, other people around the uh, country can be, um, you would be interested in doing this in their communities because this is a problem that is everywhere. It's, it's not just it's not just Atlanta. So I'm not trying to make Atlanta look bad in any way. It's just this is a problem that exists all over America.